love catching. That's that's the that's my favorite thing to do in the game. Uh, there's there's just so much going on uh, as as a catcher and throughout a, a baseball game. It, it's the most engaging position I think on the field, and uh, I think it's one of the most important. So. Um, yeah, my, my size has always been a uh, been a question mark, and uh, people have always wondered how the body would hold up. But uh, you know, making sure that I stay in shape, making sure that the knees are healthy and the legs are good to withstand a full season, um, I take a lot of pride in that, and especially in the off season, uh, just making sure my body's right, making sure I'm um, doing all the necessary things to to make sure I'm staying flexible, staying limber, staying strong, everything like that. Cause uh, yeah, with my size, uh, you know, there's uh, you know, my body could break down a little easier or whatever you might think. But um, you know, I think uh, I'd like to believe I've done a good, good enough job so far uh, showing people that I can stay back there and that, um, you know, I can, I can help a team behind the plate. What do you view as your strengths as a defensive catcher, whether it's in terms of, Preparation, uh, game calling with, with sequencing pitches, uh, your ability to frame, to block pitches. How do you see your strengths behind the plate? Yeah, I think, I mean, for starters, I think there is a benefit to, to the size. Um, you know, I am a big target back there. And, um, you know, I think I think pitchers like to see, uh, see a big target and a big presence that uh, makes them feel like hey, they can almost throw the ball anywhere. And, uh, you know, it's got a chance of being a strike or something like that. So um, I think the size itself helps. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I think I think I've always had a strong arm. Uh, that's something that that's helped. But at the same time, I know there's uh, footwork things and, and different stuff like that 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 I know I can improve on. And uh, I think I think the biggest thing I've always been trying to work on is the is the game calling side and uh, and and working with the pitching staff and. Obviously, when you get traded to a brand new team, you're thrown in with a brand new group of pitchers that uh, you've you've never caught before, never seen, uh, never seen any any games with. So uh, that's that's been the the quickest thing that I've had to try to learn on the fly is is getting used to all these new arms that we have and uh, trying to get on the same page with them. Riley Adams, Nationals catcher, joining me here on Nats Insider. Riley, let's, let's talk now about the offensive side of your game. Uh, you've shown the power to the pull side. You've also shown the ability, willingness to use the entire field. And it seems like from watching you that you have kind of a right center field approach some of the time, maybe not all the time, um, but it, it seems like you're kind of targeting that, that side of the field. Is that accurate? And how, um, how would you describe your, uh, your strengths offensively and where your power lies uh, specifically? Yeah, I've always I've always thought of myself more as a guy uh, up the middle, more towards right center. Um, I think I think I mean shoot, going back to high school and growing up, uh, you're always taught to to work on going the other way, and uh, that's something that I've always I've always worked on. And again, with with the size and strength that I have, I think um, you know I try my best to, to use that ability and uh, you know being able to drive the ball the other way and uh, just. At the end of the day, hitting the ball where it's pitched, and uh, knowing knowing how pitchers like to attack me and how they want to get me out, and uh, you know, being able to to cover every part of the plate and uh, just just simply drive the ball wherever wherever they throw it. So uh, there's not a yeah, there's not a specific anything that way. It's just uh, it's just going wherever the ball uh, wherever they throw it. Now, because you're such a big guy, you've got you've got long arms, and I would imagine you really like to get extended. That's a good thing, but it also uh, can be, I would imagine, in some pitchers' minds, uh, a way that they can attack you because you do have to get those long arms extended. Davey mentioned to me the other day that that you've been working on trying to shorten up your swing a little bit with, with Kevin Long and Pat Rosser. What type of work have you been putting in behind the scenes to try and accomplish that? Yeah, I think uh, the biggest thing is is timing, um, and you know, I'm sure you hear it across the board uh, from a pitcher that's trying to disrupt timing to a hitter that's trying to get on time. So, um, uh, yeah, sometimes I find that I've I've struggled to get on time with the pitchers, and you know that kind of makes you more susceptible to uh, pitches outside of your sweet spot of hitting. So, um, 
the, the biggest thing that, that Davey's been preaching and yeah, working with Kay Long in the cages is it's just getting that foot down early and giving myself as much time as I can to to see the ball, recognize the pitch and and, and go from there. So uh, they, they, they've been great. I've, I've really enjoyed working with them in the, in the few short weeks that I have, uh, have been here. So, uh, no, they've been, they've been extremely helpful and, um, I, I've enjoyed how they just kept it simple with me and they're not, uh, they're not trying to do too much and they're just, you know, focusing on the big things of just getting that foot down and, and, and letting the ball travel and, and giving myself as much time as I can to be successful. Well, Riley, I've got to ask you about your first major league home run, which I still don't know if if it's come down. Uh, we didn't see it live come down. You didn't see it come down. Uh, it was in Atlanta. It was a monstrous home run, both in terms of how far it traveled and in terms of the significance. Um, you, I think you said after the game that you kind of blacked out when you were you were running the bases a little bit. You're a little removed from that day now. How have you been able to process what I'm sure was a moment that you had been dreaming of your entire life and Take me through the particulars in terms of did you ever actually get the baseball? Uh, what did you need to give up to procure the baseball? And where is that baseball now? Yeah, that was a, that was a pretty exciting time. Um, I remember, I still, I still, you know, I, I can picture that moment uh, and I'll probably be able to remember that moment forever. Uh, you know, I remember after uh, Josh Bell scored uh, as he was running back to the dugout. Uh, with the tiny run on third, he just looked at me and said, hey, we just need a single. Single ties it, and uh, then we're good. And I joke that it's funny that he said that, but at the same time, I think that was also kind of helpful in a way because it's like, hey, don't don't try to do too much. Don't try to don't try to uh, do more than, you, than you're capable of. And uh, I think I think that's when you have the most success is when you're, you know, just trying to keep things simple and not and not trying to do more than you should. So um yeah i remember uh just looking for a pitch middle in and uh thankfully i got that on the first pitch and uh right after i hit it i had a pretty good idea it was gone i knew i hit it high but um i had no idea how far it was going and uh yeah as i was as i was running i was trying to look for it and i didn't even see it um but i think i think at that point i was just like i was just happy. i was just happy it went out and i was and i was pretty excited i didn't really know what to do obviously i've never hit a home run in the big leagues before so uh that was pretty special and uh it was also cool uh touching home and uh giving a high five to zim at, at home that was a uh, that was a pretty cool moment uh and just a just a really special way to hit, hit a first homer and uh thankfully they were able to track down the ball um and uh yeah I, I autographed another baseball for for the fan there and uh yeah no i got that baseball in my locker back in uh, dc so uh that'll definitely uh that'll definitely be a fun memento to keep on the on on the on the mantle wherever i am and uh that's a pretty special moment